Ever since James Gunn took over the DC Universe and fired Henry Cavill as Superman, there have been so many reports and rumors and speculation on who he's going to cast to play Superman in his rebooted DC Universe. Well, we finally have an answer today, and I think it's safe to say that this is as official as it gets. James Gunn putting out this article from Hollywood Reporter on this breaking news that they have found their new Superman accurate. They're not only incredible actors, but also wonderful people. I would hope so after everything DC's been through with Ezra Miller, but here is the headline. Superman Legacy finds leads with David Cornsweet and Rachel Brosnahan. Now, I gotta be honest, I am not very familiar with David Cornsweet nearly at all. The only time I've heard his name before was when people started throwing his name out there for Superman months ago. Now, Rachel Brosnahan, I hope I'm saying these names right, by the way. The only thing I really remember remember her from his house of cards but that was eight years ago at this point something like that she is going to be Lois Lane when it comes to the timing of the announcement I think that it'd be a little bit naive to imagine that the flash has nothing to do with this the bombing of the flash the miserable box office results is really bad PR it's terrible news for DC and for Warner Brothers right now Maybe that's one of the reasons they decided to drop this when they did to get everybody talking about what's in the future instead of the present where the Flash is failing at the box office. Obviously, what everyone's going to focus on was, does this look like Superman? Does David Cornsweet look like Superman? Well, I think it's safe to say for a lot of people that he does. He does have that look, maybe not as bulky as some people would want, at least not yet. But when you compare him to Henry Cavill, it basically looks like Henry Cavill 10 years younger. It's tough to not look at this actor, at David Cornsweet, and say, hey, uh, looks like James Gunn really wanted to cast Henry Cavill, just someone who was 10 years younger. That's basically what we have here. He does look very much like a young Henry Cavill. In terms of, do I think it's a good casting? I think he looks good, and honestly... We're going to have no idea. We're going to sit here. We're going to talk about this. We're going to argue about it. There's going to be people that say he's going to be terrible. The reality is we're not going to know for two plus years probably whether this guy is going to be a good fit or not. I did want to pull these up. There's a couple clips I have of him that people thought, hey, this could be a good fit if he was Clark Kent or Superman or whatever. Um, here he is. I don't even know what show this is from. This is just him. Ah, probably not. Uh to me, it's not about the notoriety, it's about the craft. It's about showing up to work every day, you know? And for a super, that can mean- I'm sorry, a what? Oh, a supernumerary, a supernumerary? It means extra. It means background actor, that's the proper term. In many ways, we contribute to the reality of the scene even more so than the principal actors. But I don't see- A lot of people looking at that and being like, okay, I could see that being a Clark Kent. And someone also did clip this together. Again, this is David Cornsweet from whatever show he was in. I, I honestly don't know. I really have no familiarity with his resume at all. When you're walking through your life, it's easy to feel like you're going through the motions, right? Like it doesn't really mean anything. But when I was a kid, I grew up on a farm in Missouri, so we had to drive a half hour to get to the picture show. And when I looked up at that enormous screen, I suddenly knew what life was supposed to feel like, what being alive was supposed to mean. It was like there was something somewhere out there waiting for me. All right, so that's just a little thing people putting together, putting different Superman clips in there. This is the guy. This is who it's going to be. And there's going to be people that are mad because it's not Henry Cavill. And I think I, a lot of people understand that. A lot of people are still furious to James Gunn for recasting Henry Cavill the way that it happened. This is what's going forward in the DCU. David Sweat and Rachel Brosnahan are your Clark and your Lois Lane. Uh, that's what it's going to be. We're going to argue about this probably for years until we see them on screen, and then we'll still argue about it because that's what fans do when it comes to comic book characters. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.